In the news, NRC temporarily stops services on Abuja Kaduna route following allegations of bandit attack. French soldiers allegedly kill commander of jihadist fighter in Mali's troubled border with Burkina Faso. South Korea launches first homegrown rocket, steps up ambitions in space. Data is coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Merciful Ajinabo, and you're watching TOS News 360. The Nigeria Railway Corporation has suspended indefinitely train services along the Abuja Kaduna Road. The NRC, in a statement on its website on Thursday, said the services were suspended for the safety of passengers and crew members. According to the corporation, efforts were being put in place to ensure absolute safety along the road. It added that further information concerning the suspension will be conveyed to the public shortly. The sit-at-home order declared by the indigenous people of Biafra on Thursday in all parts of the southeast to protest the incarceration and trial of its leader, Mazi Namdi Kanu, has again spread sorrow in Enugu state. This time, a shop and a trailer truck were set ablaze by hoodlums suspected to be enforcing the order at Eke Obinagu suburb along the Enugu Abakaliki Expressway in Enugu East Council area of the state. It was observed that over 10 security operatives led by the police had been stationed at the scene to ensure that the goods in the container weren't looted. Parliamentarians in Benin have voted to legalize abortion in the West African country, where it was allegedly already authorized under restricted conditions. Under the new law passed late Wednesday, women can terminate a pregnancy within the first three months if it is likely to aggravate or cause material, educational, professional or moral distress and incompatible with the woman or the unborn child's interest. After a heated debate in Parliament, with some lawmakers strongly opposed to legalizing abortion further, the amendment finally passed. French soldiers have reportedly killed a commander from the a jihadist group close to Al-Qaeda that operates along Mali's troubled border with Burkina Faso. According to the French statement, Nasser Al-Tegui was the number two in the Goma Sema Brigade of the Support Group for Islam and Muslims. Al Tagu, who joined Al Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb in 2012, had major operational responsibilities in the support group. The United Nations say more than 700,000 people have been displaced by the worst floods to hit South Sudan in decades. At least 40 people have died across the country as heavy rains and flash floods destroy livestock, farmland, and homes. Some of those who have fled have been displaced numerous times over due to conflict and three years of consecutive flooding. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, 2S Television, and you are watching 2S News for 60. More African stories plus global business and sports will return to stay with us. Thanks for staying. South Korea has launched its first homegrown rocket, stepping up the country's ambitions in space. The Korean satellite launch vehicle 2, known as Nuri, took off from Gohang, about 500 kilometers south of Seoul. President Moon Jae-in said the vehicle completed its full flight sequence, but failed in its goal of putting a dummy satellite in orbit. Protesters and human rights activists in Boston have called on the Pakistani government to end the continued imprisonment of Pakistani neuroscientists Afia Siddiqui in the United States. The protesters who carried pictures and banners gathered outside the Pakistan consulate in New York on Wednesday to decry Siddiqui's situation and urge the Pakistani government to actively seek her immediate release and repatriate her. And now the United Nations say it has set up a special trust fund to provide urgently needed cash directly to Afghans through a system that taps into donor funds frozen since the Taliban takeover in August. With the local economy imploding, the aim is to inject liquidity into Afghan households to permit them to survive this winter and remain in their homeland despite the turmoil it said on Thursday. Atim Steiner, UN Development Programme's administrator, said Germany, a first contributor, had pledged 50 million euros to the fund and that it was in touch with other donors to mobilize resources. And now to business, the Central Bank of Nigeria has said it will support youths in tertiary institutions with grants to promote entrepreneurship and reduce unemployment. 
The CBN disclosed this on Wednesday in a report titled Guidelines for the Implementation of Tertiary Institutions Entrepreneurship Scheme. It added that activists to be covered under the scheme would include innovative startups and existing businesses owned by graduates of Nigerian polytechnics and universities in areas such as agribusiness, information technology, creative industry, as well as science and technology. Talking sports, the Super Eagles of Nigeria have dropped two places in the latest FIFA men's rankings for the month of October. The Super Eagles, who were ranked 34th in the world in the ranking released in September, dropped 14 points to 36th. The Eagles' drop in the rankings was largely due to their one nearly home defeat to Central African Republic in the 2022 World Cup qualifier earlier this month. And that is TOST News 360 on your digital first Pan African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am Merciful Ajinimon. Thanks for watching.